Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of RimWorld. We have an elephant in the colony. Uh, a tame elephant. Uh, in fact, a, a tame and trained elephant. It's been rescue trained now. Uh, still got to train him up for hauling, but I mean, it's an elephant. Uh, we're hoping to get more. It's only a 7% chance if Minty's doing it and 5.5% and if uh, Johnston does it. So it's not a huge chance. We got very lucky that we got one as quickly as we did. But um, alas, it looks like RN Jesus is not with us at the moment. We haven't had a trader fly overhead in quite a while or a caravan. Um, I'm, I'm loath to ask for a caravan to arrive but uh, it might be worth us doing that at some point we can just keep making more grand sculptures how many more dusters do we have to make uh, let's move the t-shirts up so that people have nicer things to wear because we've got plenty of dusters and that's the other thing. I mean, the the longer it takes, the less steel we get for these uh, these components, and the more everything's going to start breaking down. So we do need a case in point. We do need a trader soon-ish. Although well, we can always smelt a load of slag if it comes to that. I am so happy that we have an elephant on staff. And I'm going to say that on staff. I mean, I'm assuming that we can actually load this thing up with... Uh... Time is a colonist. Four days, three hours. Time in a bed, one day, nine hours. That's quite cool. I mean, it, it might be interesting to... To go through and check some of uh, our people's records... Time as a colonist, four years. We've been here four years. Wow. And you spent just over a quarter of that in bed. 55 kills, of which 11 humans. And one mechanoid. That's pretty impressive, Jesse. And Anton. 246 kills, of which 8 humans. Mostly hunting. Big, big difference. Uh, I won't go through everyone's records, because uh, otherwise we'll be here all day. But it's interesting to see. It's interesting to see. What are you doing, Weaves? You're grabbing chunks. Unforbid a couple of the animals and things that we see dotted around so that uh, we'll bring them back for free food. Save us doing our own hunting if a panther's going to do it and then just leave all the goodies for us. Well, not all the goodies, but uh, you know, a significant amount of them. So it's, it's a little bizarre having elephants as compatriots. Um, given uh, the amount of time I've spent playing uh, Dwarf Fortress in the past, elephants are in Dwarf Fortress the most deadly creature ever, or at least they used to be. It's been a while since I've played it. I mean, it's entirely possible it's been uh, it's been changed, but uh, you wouldn't want to be near an elephant if a, if a herd of elephants came through. Uh, you would be certainly worried about it. It, it would not be a good day. It would not be a good day. It could completely obliterate an entire colony. So having a tame elephant is just like, oh yeah. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Uh, maybe we'll only ever get the one. I don't know. We'll keep trying nevertheless. And uh, of course we'll keep improving the rooms for people.
How are our food supplies doing? 429, that is going up at quite a nice rate. I am very happy about that. I think it's been like nearly a year then since uh, so certainly three months since uh, since we had a trader come overhead. We had a whole bunch together, and then we had a whole bunch of raids and attacks together. Uh, none of which particularly help. Uh, let's get them hauling because we're gonna run out of steel soon. some more steel chunks up here yeah, if we do it now then I won't be worrying about it later is what I'm thinking we've also got more steel that we can mine out down here actually uh, let's get that going uh, so mining I had actually if you've got some because we had so much I honestly didn't think we would get through it anytime soon and what do you know we did we totally did uh, we can also designate this for explorative mining And uh, as I said in an earlier episode, by uh, mining through in this pattern that I'm doing, you can see everything that's inside and uh, it just makes it a bit more efficient. It's the old, uh, old Minecraft tricks being transferred to other games. It sounded like something got murdered there. And what do you know, there's a dead monkey. Oh, it was a cobra that got it. Those damn cobras. How's our elephant doing on training? Still not doing well on hauling training, but... Uh... Minties is at least trying to improve our elephant supplies. Which is really what we want. And our steel supplies are very low. How are we doing for components two? Oh, we've got a raid coming in. So a group of pirates from the ape men have arrived. They want to use sappers to tunnel around our defenses. Now they're all the way down there. So if we stock up here, that'll be fine. Okay, Komodo and Weaves, draft you all, get you all in here, and position you nicely. might have an elephant in the way ever so slightly uh, they're actually heading up that way okay uh, let's bring everyone up as best we can feel like it was a little bit of a mistake And you can go up to there. You can go in there. Leg it. Right, okay, this is not going terribly. It is not going well, but it is not going terribly. 
Oh my word, we just murdered Jesse. Okay, I need to rescue Jesse. I'm forbid Jesse's assault rifle. Stella, you're getting stripped. In fact, you're all getting stripped. I'm going to unforbid all of your stuff, including your medicine. Man, we've got to build more shelves. Every single time. I'm glad we uh, we dealt with them as quickly as we did. Let's get you stripped and unforbidden. Ah, uh, cool. Jesse is back and walking. That could have gone a lot worse. Now, are these just going to bleed out? 5.8 hours, 1.8 hours. Yes, they are. And 2.3 hours. Um, Pearson, could you prioritize stripping before they actually die? There we go. The rest can all wait. Designate these for hauling as well. I think we handled that okay. I mean, the mad dash across, possibly not the greatest move I've ever done. I might have to build some new sandbags around here, actually. Just because of the, uh, the angle that they're consistently uh, attacking us from. So if I do... That like that... Unforbid. Unforbid. We'll get them cremated. And we'll take all their stuff. Including the power armor helmet. Whoa. Please haul that. So that it doesn't deteriorate. And then you put it on. I mean, wow. Look at that. Of course you did. All the repairs coming in. Cool. The t-shirts have been finished, which means it's just Jesse with something tattered. What have you got, Jesse? Uh, pants. Well, let's, let's get some more trousers queued up. Uh, seven will do. Labrador Retrievers join. Oh, three Labrador Retrievers. Well, we'll just slaughter them. I'm not interested in dogs. We're going after the elephants. And we're not getting lucky with them. I mean, we, we got one, but... I want more. I want more. Okay, uh... Jesse... Equip your assault rifle. Some of the armor vests aren't the worst. Uh, let's have a look. What's your... 98%, 99, 68, 98, 94. 4, 99, 91, 90. So they're all in pretty good condition. 94, 99, 
And then 98, okay. So Tony, you had the worst. In fact, Tony, you can wear this one. That is the uh, the best option available. Now I'm thinking I should build some uh, some turrets down here as well, but we don't really have the components for it. <coughs> I think I'll have to to settle for just uh, managing things the way they are. Bone will also get a power armor helmet. Yeah. Awesome. Two people that are incapable of fighting have now got better armor. Not sure that's necessarily the best way we want it to, to be in the future, but I mean, uh, it is what it is. specifically getting this area so that it is a murder zone if they come towards us. That's what we're doing with this bit. Right. All those have been taken care of and we're up to 300 sandstone blocks. So let's put some sandstone flooring down in there. And in there. Don't really need to do any in there. I suppose we could do the second half of this room in sandstone. It'll look weird though. It'll look weird, but it'll be better than floor. Uh, uh, wood floor, I mean. Better than boring flooring. Okay, we have found an area inside. Oh, it's just like a little cavern chasm thing. There's always the worry that you're going to open up some kind of... Uh, ooh, components. Uh, some kind of nasties inside. Let's designate those for mining. And those for mining. They do go through this rock like a hot knife through butter. It's just like, meow. Alright, the wild boar has got. Hey, we got a second elephant! Yeah! Train it up. Cool, we got we got a matched pair. Uh, let's get those boars marked for murder. Oh, I am so happy about that. Double elephant. And we're up to 439. Uh, I'm forbid that of our package survival meals for the uh, for the long journey ahead. We've got a lot of sculptures that we can uh, we can put down. I mostly those are for trading. That that's the whole point that we've uh, we've made them is so we could trade, so we could get some gold, so we could leave behind a massive gold statue. But uh, we may just have to like make a little diorama or something. Oh, elephant two, elephant two. And there are the remaining elephants. Well, I don't mind if we don't get them because we have a matched pair, which means we can get little, little baby elephants. Still a hell of a lot of uh, general chunks and things around, aren't there? 
Piers is just working while Mella's asleep. You know, don't worry about picking a time that's, you know, suitable or, or useful or... No, it was always going to be difficult doing this room. But it's fine. They don't mind. Their mood is high enough. Interesting technique, just, you know, throwing it out through the door. I'm assuming that there are, like, windows in these. I think that is something I would like to see. I would like to see windows as something you could build. And then you could have, like, tactical defences where you build a wall with, like, little um, murder slits so that they can shoot out through. Cool, we struck steel down here. And obviously there is a lot of hauling and stuff to happen. I wonder if those can't be reached. I hope they can. I mean, I'd hate to have to deconstruct the crematorium just to get the flooring finished. Item stash opportunity, another AI persona core. Uh, we'll reject that. We are very, very much not caring. A mad animal, that's going to be a cassowary. Oh, it's an alpaca. Sounds like it already died. I want people to get these uh, these components hauled. Sorry, Tony. I'm gonna have to stop you eating and get as many of these gathered up as possible. Because I don't want them deteriorating. And they are semi roofed. There we go. Nice little collection of them. Yeah, food supplies are looking okay. Uh, Nurse Pearson is walking quickly for a bit. Yeah, I think we can't quite do that. That's a shame. I'll deconstruct it because we can make another one. We just need more sandstone blocks, but it's not like we're particularly short of them. I'm so happy we got that second elephant. I'm, I'm sat here and I've got this stupid smile on my face. Right. Uh, architect. Mm. Sandstone electric crematorium. There we go. And it'll be back in no time. How are we doing for components? 20 and 452 food. So yeah, that, that little mining expedition has actually made a huge difference. I just, I just love it so much. I, has it got no legs? It, it, it looks like it's sitting down.
Yeah, the other one is uh, is much the same. Are you eating grass? Yeah. Nom nom nom. Ooh, I just thought. Loading. These are pretty big. <coughs> Even if they can carry... In fact, uh, I need to find out uh, whether they can. So let's go to the world. And we're going to check if making a caravan with elephants means we can take more food. Yeah. Which is good for us. So we should build some more launchers. Oh, we're up to 18.6 days? Wow! We don't have much further to go. We've only got to get to like 600. Yeah, it won't take us won't take us long at all. And we could take all the medicine. And I don't think we we could take all our gold with us. That'd be hilarious. All our gold and all our silver. Uh, yeah, we could bring some uh, some smoke leaf and and other things with us. All right, well. I'm not going to do that just yet, so let's build a copy. Five more should do. Uh, which means we need more... More chem fuel, I think. Can't believe we're... We're going to squeeze an elephant into a couple of different launch pods like sellotape together uh, we'll clear the forest on those now now uh, where is that fire it's already gone out We've effectively got war elephants. That that that's what it comes down to. We have war elephants. Uh, these are going to take steel and components. So yeah, we're very quickly going to run our component supply down. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seven, four, six, so we can't actually can't actually do this last one just yet. Not unless we find more components. Actually, there is more components down there. Pearson, what are you up to at the moment? You're building that crematorium. Of course you are. Oh, Minty's just got struck by lightning? Wow. Yeah, Minties, go go lie down. And someone go tend to that burn. That is nasty. Hella nasty. And Mitty's is just like standing like, what, I'm a human computer. Of course, I always get struck by lightning. So funny. Uh, 
there's quite a danger of uh, let's remove the roof in that bit quite a danger of the roof collapsing they're doing well cutting through all of that it is obviously taking them a while Hey, Minty's is fully healed after having been a, a human computer lightning rod. <coughs> Man, how how bad would that make your day? I mean, it's just like, well, you know, my train was delayed. Yeah, you know, I, my my food sucked today. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, I got struck by lightning in the rain. And I got set on fire and everything around me got set on fire, so I then had to beat it all out. Uh, right. Set the fuel level to the maximum. Get copies of those all built. Okay. Well, I think that's probably going to be a good point for us to finish this episode. We've got a second elephant. I'm I'm dead chuffed. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. And I do hope you're going to continue to follow our journey as we fling most of the colony through the air. And uh, then try and make the rest of the journey on foot. Uh, if you are liking these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, there's a link in front of you now which will allow you to do so. Otherwise... I'll see you next time for some more RimWorld. I'll see you soon.